To answer the questions for the Bucky the Badger assignment, you should have clicked on the, the link to be able to watch the short Rachel Maddow show video on what happened where Bucky the Badger, the school mascot, is having to do push-ups every time the football team scores. Now, in answering questions based on this, we have to go with the assumption that the scores that are made are all in increments of either seven or three, because a touchdown with the extra point is seven, and the field goal is three. We're not going to get all crazy with that. Um, but then you're supposed to construct some ideas as far as the number of push-ups that happen. So the first thing you were supposed to ask or do was state the Bucky the Badger problem in your own words. Why, what are we trying to figure out? We're trying to find out how many total push-ups Bucky the Badger had to do. That's it. So that would be your answer for state the problem in your own words. Then we need to construct, you're supposed to construct a logical argument or a logical calculation to figure out about how many push-ups do you think Bucky had to do. And I know people tend to get a little unsure of how exactly that's being asked or what's how the points add up or the, the push-ups add up. So I'm going to show you here. So say the score, the team scores a touchdown, so they have seven points. The scoreboard now reads seven. So Bucky has to do seven push-ups. Say the team scores again with another touchdown. The scoreboard now reads 14. So he already did seven. Now he has to do 14 more, which puts us at a total of 21 push-ups completed. Maybe a field goal is scored. Now the scoreboard read 17. Because there are 17 points on the scoreboard, Bucky has to do an additional 17 push-ups. Well, he already did 21. Now he's doing 17 more, so he gets a total of 38 push-ups that he's had to do. Another 7. Scoreboard is going to read uh, 24. 24 plus the 38 should put us at 62. Hopefully my math is correct. And this continues on and on down until the scoreboard reads 83. So at some point, Bucky does have to do 83 push-ups in one go, but that gets added to his previous total number of push-ups. If you had continued this process of just filling out the chart and kind of guessing, you would have come, I think most of you probably should have come somewhere along the lines of 550 whatever. Uh, the official total, if you had gone and watched Act 3, I believe was 573 total push-ups had to be done. Then, for question number two, it asks you to write down a number that you know is too high. And you could just really get ridiculous. It didn't have to be a practical, slightly too high. You could make it over the top so you know that you were correct. Is Bucky ever going to do a thousand push-ups? I highly doubt it. You could even say five thousand. It doesn't matter. Just anything bigger than your total. Then number three asks you to write down a number that is too low. You have a, a, an assortment of options. You could have said seven. He's never only going to do seven push-ups because we know by the second time they score, he has to do more than that. So make it a low number or 100. We know he's going to do more than 100 because we're almost there and they've only got a score of 24 here. So just make it a small number. Number four says, what further information would you need to know in order to determine the exact number of total push-ups Bucky did in the course of the game? There are two pieces of information that you need in order to get a truly accurate calculation. One is you need to know what they scored, how many touchdowns, how many field goals. Then you also needed to know well, what order did they get solved in because when you went on to do number five, you should have tested out that the order does matter, whether those field goals are happening at the beginning, the end, or getting mixed throughout. So you need to know how many touchdowns, how many field goals, and what order the points were scored in, in order to be able to truly create an accurate chart. 
If you're Bucky, would you rather your team score their field goals at the start of the game or the end? Why? All right, don't di just guess because chances are you'll guess wrong. I guessed wrong the first time I did this. So what you need to do is you can make a guess, but then prove it with math. Make an educated, informed guess. All right, so say they score seven points, seven points, then the field goals at the end. Scoreboard reads seven, Bucky does seven push-ups. Scoreboard reads 14, he's now done 21 push-ups. Score three, now they have 17, they are at 38 push-ups. And three more puts the scoreboard at 20. 20 plus the 38 makes 58. Okay? Great. Now, so with the field goals at the end, Bucky had to do 58 right there. Well, let's switch that. Let's put those field goals at the beginning and see if it makes any difference for Bucky. Three, three, seven, seven. Score is three, three push-ups. Score is six, nine push-ups. Score is 13, 13 plus nine, it's gonna be 22. Then we add another seven, so our scoreboard reads 20. Well, Bucky only had to do 42 push-ups that way. That makes a significant difference. So if you were Bucky, you want those field goals getting out of the way at the beginning and then touchdowns after that. Then the final thing is, what are some numbers that Bucky is never going to do in a game? So this is going to be based on the combinations of threes and sevens. What values can you not get in that combination? Well, Bucky is never going to do just one push-up, or two push-ups, or four push-ups, or five. But he can do six because two field goals make six. He can get seven. He can't get eight. And you really didn't need to go much farther than that. You just had to at least demonstrate an understanding of what number combinations he could not get.